Hi guys, and welcome to the top 10 things you need to know about Madden 17. And if you enjoyed the video, smash a like on the like button. Also, subscribe if you're new around here. But without further ado, I will now jump into the list, starting from number one. So, number one is the release date. Something probably the most important to a fair amount of people. And the official release date is the 23rd of August. So some places you might actually see the release date as the 31st of December and that might just be because they haven't updated it yet since the release date has only recently been released but don't worry for every console it's being released on the official release date is the 23rd of August. Number two is something few of you may actually know about but just in case you don't is there actually has been some Madden 17 content released throughout the community. So I'll put a link in the description to a few videos that have come out about the Madden 17 gameplay. Unfortunately, I couldn't get out to uh, to America to actually play the game myself and get some gameplay. But there are a fair few amount of videos out there with a few sort of a few of the big new additions spoken about in a bit more detail than I'll put in this video but they're out there I'll link them in the description so you can get a feel of the game before the game has even actually officially come out. The next two points will actually be gameplay related so a big one for me when I saw this coming out and a few of you who have already watched a few of my videos before will know about this is that they're really cutting back on how good aggressive catching is so the main thing that was overpowered this year was you could just lob it up to one of your receivers no matter who they were, no matter who they were against. It could be sort of a bronze wide receiver up against sort of like Ronnie Lott at strong safety or something. And you'd lob it up to them and they could come down with a catch more than 50% of the time, which is really bad for gameplay perspective. And the thing they're doing to change this is they're not making getting interceptions easier, but they're making sort of patting down the ball easier or just knocking it out of the receiver's hands, which I think will be a huge gameplay upgrade for Madden 17 and hopefully make for a lot more exciting gameplay when the game comes out. Number four is that EA have said in quite a lot of places that they're going to really try and cut down on the lag and all the glitches that you can cause because of the lag in the game. So a big one for this is pause gl glitching and sort of people being able to boot you from your game. So hopefully with the changes that will never happen in a way for a lot more sleek gameplay throughout the entire year. Next one, number five, may not be as important to everyone, but I know for a few people that I know who play Madden, the franchise mode is getting a big upgrade, which is really going to benefit them. So the main thing they're doing with the franchise is they've got this thing called Big Decisions, which they're really trying to implement in the franchise mode. So that can be anything from having big injuries happen at certain times or when you're doing a big acquisition for a player. So for example, say you took over the Broncos and you wanted to try and re-sign Von Miller. That would count as one of the big decision things that they're putting into the game for next year. And also... They've put sort of a few more. They've put a few more finesse touches on the game mode itself. So you've got an around the league score tracker. So you can, as you're playing the game, you can track the scores in other games. You can fully edit anything on any of the players in your team. So that can be rating, the look of them, anything. You can edit that to sort of. It makes it more of an expansive experience, I think. So say you want your team all to be sort of a, a team of guys you know personally. You can now do that in the game, which I think adds a whole new perspective to the franchise mode. And I think it might help the franchise mode grow a bit in the years to come, because at the moment it's not insanely well played compared to the Ultimate Team side of Madden. So back to actually buying the game. Something that I only recently found out is that there's potentially three different types of Madden 17 you can buy. So fundamentally the game is the same, but they're sort of box deals you can buy with the game. So there's a standard edition, you get nothing with it, it's just the game itself. You can also buy the deluxe edition, which is where you get some Madden NFL sort of ranked tickets for the ranked draft game mode, which 
I don't think is that big, but you also get 10 all pro packs, which I'm sure a lot of people will benefit from. And then you can get the super deluxe edition where you get 30 rank tickets and 30 all pro packs, which at the start of the game could be absolutely huge for your team and it could set you off on a good trajectory for the entire year if you get a big pull. If you are lucky enough to own an Xbox One, which unfortunately I'm not part of that category, but if you are lucky enough to own an Xbox One, you can actually play the game a little bit early because apparently there'll be early release. So as I said, the official release date is the 23rd, but there could be early release as early as August the 18th. This isn't totally confirmed, but I've seen it in a few places, so look out for that. But you also have to have EA Access Members Play, I think it's called, and you have to have that. It only costs about $5 a month, but if you have that, you'll be able to get an early release of Madden 17. So, number 8 is for the old gen console users, the Xbox 360 users and the PS3 users. You guys still have another year of Madden available to you. So this potentially might be the last year that they do release Madden on the old gen consoles, but EA are known for if there's the fan base there, they'll keep it open on the console. So, for example, all the other sports games they do. They still have them on the old consoles until they stop making money. So if there's enough of you and you're playing the game, the game will still be open to you for at least one more year. So jumping into number nine, I'm sure everyone who's played Madden 16 has seen something to do with this, especially in the Ultimate Team department. But they're releasing a thing, or they've released a thing called Mutt Loyalty Rewards. So a lot of people I'm sure have seen this, but might not know what it's actually about. So you've got to fill out in the sets part of Madden Ultimate Team, you've got to put 10 gold loyalty reward badges into a set and you get a loyalty, loyalty reward token for Madden 17. And they haven't confirmed how these work, but they've confirmed that the rewards you get for the Madden loyalty reward 17 ones are contract packs, uh, elite offensive player pack, elite defensive player pack, pro packs, all pro packs and legend packs. And there's a lot of a lot of ways to get the gold loyalty reward tokens to put into this set. And these can range from you get pretty much one every week, you get one if you win a draft of champions, you get one from the solos, you also get one from doing head-to-head -head games. There's loads of ways to get them, and you should be able to get at least a fair few for the start of the year. And if you have the opportunity, definitely go to get them because they could bring huge benefits to your team early on in the game and that's where you can make the most coins. And finally jumping into number 10 is I'm going to just finish off with a gameplay update that they have put into the game and it involves special teams. Something that really needed an update because pretty much nobody ever chooses to punt or take a field goal online really and they need they need to address that and change that. So what they've done is they've actually made taking field goals, kickoffs a little bit harder. So hopefully that'll mix things up online. That'll mean say when someone really needs a field goal to win the game, it won't just be a sure thing. I mean missing a field goal is really hard on Madden 16. So hopefully in 17 it will change things up a little bit. Trick plays on punts and field goals aren't as obvious now as well. As well as onside kicks I believe they've changed so it's not insanely obvious when you're going to do an onside kick which will throw the opponent off a little bit more and make the game a lot sort of harder to play i think uh, the point it's at now this year it's really easy to read what people are going to do the majority of the time so hopefully they'll change that up and it'll make the game more enjoyable to play on offense and on defense as well so you won't come up against the same plays over and over again you won't come up against that guy who uses four verts constantly and there's nothing you can do about it but that is the list of the top 10 things you need to know about Madden 17 as of now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the list. Anything I've missed out, let me know in the comments section down below. Really like to know your guys' input and what you think needs to be put on the list or anything that I may have just not found online that you think could be really beneficial for other people watching the video. Also, subscribe if you are new. We're getting towards sort of another milestone, two and a half thousand. Hopefully we can get towards that. By the end of July, that'd be fantastic. Once again, thank you guys for watching. I'll let the draft in the background run out. 
and hopefully I'll see you guys soon for another video. Thank you.